Your eyewitness weather forecast. All right, so yesterday was a little rough, but hopefully we made up for it with the fact that it looks like this on radar, and it really has just about all day. Williamsport, Montgomery, Muncie, they are all quiet. I mean, the entire region is quiet tonight. That's good news. We like to see a nice, clear radar screen like this. In terms of temperatures, we're still cooling down, but we are well below where we were earlier. Now we're in the low 60s, 62 in Lansford, Wilkesbury at 63, and Holly at 61. Not much in the way of rain, and that's how we stay tomorrow as well. But before I get to tomorrow, let me talk about those in between hours, those temperatures dipping down to our lows in the mid 50s. Tonight's a great night to open up the windows, give the AC a break. I know it's been working pretty hard the last couple of days because, man, it has been warm. Tomorrow gets a little bit warmer. But it also is very comfortable in terms of humidity. So even though we will be a touch warmer than we were today, you don't get that hot, muggy feel tomorrow. You feel actually very nice. Just to put it in perspective, the dew point temperature right now is 54. Tomorrow, the highest dew point of the day, 58. So anyone getting ready in the morning, you got to get your hair done, don't worry. You'll be fine. Not too much in the way of frizz. In terms of your commute tomorrow morning, maybe after you're done getting ready, you hop in the car. And the only thing you really need are the shades because we have plenty of sunshine. Temperatures are comfortable. If you do get cold easily, you might have seen me wearing the light jacket up on the roof. I'm a big baby. So if you, like me, need that jacket, tomorrow might be a nice morning for it because, again, we are a little bit cooler, a little below average with those lows. In terms of our future cast, you can see it is still nice and clear. A really beautiful day. We reach lunch. We reach dinner. It's more of the same. Just a couple of clouds floating around, leaving us a great start to the work week. Hopefully you have a chance to take that lunch outside. And if you do, like I said, we are going to be a touch warmer. We end up in the low 80s as opposed to the upper 70s, just like we were today. That being said, always a little bit cooler in the mountains. The higher elevations, like the Poconos, going to be in the upper 70s. That's the exception to the rule here. Overall, a great start to the week. Here's what we're looking at tonight. A little recap here. We're in the mid-50s. We're nice and cool. We're mostly clear. It's all good. Everything is good here. Open up those windows. Enjoy it. Tomorrow, more of the same. Get the shades out. Enjoy the day if you can because there's always a but when it comes to the forecast. It's nice, but it's not so nice later in the week. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all looking at that same wet pattern that we've seen where it's hot, it's humid, and we get a couple storms in the late afternoon and evening. Not a washout any of those days, but not the most pleasant days to be outside all day long, so make sure you have a plan B for something to do inside. Download the Eyewitness Weather app, too. That way, if you are outside, you don't get caught off guard by any showers or storms when you're not here in front of the TV. So... Good news, bad news situation here, but at least we have sunshine to start it off tomorrow. That's nice. And Thursday is 4th of July. Yeah. There's probably a lot of firework displays a few nights leading up to that. So, like you said, it won't be a complete washout this no. week. So, hopefully that won't ruin any plans or fireworks. No. And you know what's funny is last year was the exact same forecast. The, the whole week was basically the same. So, we figured it out last year. I think we can make it work this year. All right. Thanks, Christina.